Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Comfy UI. Now, when I first saw Comfy UI, I saw all of these different nodes and I got really confused. Like there's so many different things that are happening. And I thought, okay, this is not really beginner friendly and I'm just gonna be sticking to OpenAI's DALI 3 model. It was only when one of the subscribers from this channel reached out to me and said, hey, can you create a video on Comfy UI? And I thought, okay, well, sure, uh, maybe this might be a chance for me to take a second look at it. And I'm really glad that they sent me that comment because I could really see exactly how powerful um, Comfy UI really is. We can use it for creating images, obviously, that look um, really good. So like this, for example, image was created completely locally on my computer using Comfy UI. Um, you just have to do some prompt engineering here and there, which I'm going to show you uh, what that's going to look like here in a second. Um, but you can also use Comfy UI for things like text to image generation. You can use it for things like with the same image, you can use it for things like image to video generation. And you can see how realistic this actually looks. Well, realistic in terms of the cartoon. Uh, you can use it for things like scribble to images. So here it, the input is just a simple scribble and it actually creates this image. Uh, over here, we can see how it's using an input image to then create everything about this image, like the outline, the background, all of those things. Uh, this is one where we give it a, like a set of different poses and then it creates uh, characters based on those poses. Uh, it allows us to get a lot more of a fine-grained control on the image generation process. That's what makes it so much more powerful. Here we can see where we provide an input prompt, something like photograph, landscape, scenery. But we can also create nodes that allow us to uh, do things like add a purple galaxy bottle in this specific X, Y coordinate in the image. So we can see what that looks like over here. We can create the sun in this specific X, Y coordinate, and that's what it would look like there. And for all of these different images, right, that you see, um, any image that was created with the Comfy UI workflow, you can just simply save that image just as a PNG file, right? And if you open up this file, you can go over to your Comfy UI um, desktop application. You can simply drag and drop that image on here, and it's going to load up the exact workflow that was used to create that image. So that's what's so powerful. You don't need to know all of these things. You don't need to know all of these nodes. And I think that's what really was throwing me off the first time. I thought, okay, there's so much things, so many things that I'm going to have to learn, and I'm, I don't have the time for it. But I pretty easily found out that there's an entire community of people that have de that are really dedicated, that have created all of these different workflows for people like us to really experiment with. Uh, and I'm very grateful for them. Okay, so now that we know what Comfy UI is, how do we actually install it? Well, the first thing that you'll want to do is to go to the Comfy UI GitHub repository. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, there's no Docker container. There's nothing like uh, complex installation process steps or anything like that. It's actually very simple. All you would do is just scroll down and click on desktop application. And it's just as simple as that. If you're on a Windows, you'll download this. If you're on a Mac, you download this. And then it's going to create an icon on your desktop. You can open it and you'll get this interface that looks just like this. If you did want to get a lot more of a fine grained control, in the installation process, then what you can do is scroll all the way down here on whatever operating system that you have. So for example, if you have Windows Portable, you can uh, select or click on this link. It's going to give you a file. You have to extract that file and then you have to do some moving around of things. But why would you want to, to do that when there's a very simple one-click uh, method of actually installing it? Now, as soon as you're done installing uh, Comfy UI, you're going to get this sort of like a sample workflow. Like this is not something that I have created. This is something that came directly when I first opened up Comfy UI. Now, the only thing that I needed to do was to download a model. So the next question that comes up is, well, what sort of model should I be using? Well, it really depends on your GPU. So if you want to create really powerful or stunning visualizations, something that looks like this, well, you're going to need a slightly beefier GPU. I am actually running this on an NVIDIA 4090. But the good thing here is that Comfy UI also has a page that kind of shows you like what GPU you should be buying. 
uh, for Comfy UI. So it goes through like all of these different tiers for um, NVIDIA, we have for AMD, the C tier for Mac, um, and then D tier, F tier. Now, what model should I be using? Well, the site that you can find a bunch of these different models on is known as Civit AI. So within Civit, what you would do is you can search for models. And here you can see a bunch of different models that are used for creating all sorts of different images. Now, initially it might get confusing, right? Like, okay, well, do I want this model or this model and what's the exact purpose or application? Now, the tool that I like to use is this one that's known as imgsys.org. The way it works is it gives a prompt like this. So two men in athletic clothing stand side by side and you can decide, like, based on these two things, which image do you like more? To be honest, I like this image more. So I'm going to select left, and I can see that this is the half moon model. Okay, that's great. Let's try a couple more images. Uh, so the prompt, a black and silver skateboard truck, uh, concave bottom. This one looks a little bit more realistic, so I'm going to go right. And this one was the Playground V 2.0 model. Let's try one more. So a set of 12 assorted soap bars wrapped in a red and blue ribbon. Um, to me, I feel like this one looks a little bit more realistic, and this one was the half moon model. So you can see that there, there are all of these people that have gone in and done this annotation process. And you can find all of these different rankings here. You can just click on Hugging Face, and you'll be able to see an entire data set of all of the different prompts and which model ended up winning for each prompt. If you don't care about that, all you need, really need to do is just look at this thing called rank. And then for rank, you can see exactly what are the top ranked models. So as an example, I can see that Flex1 Dev, Flex1 Pro, these are some highly ranked models. Uh, I have RealViz XL 4.0. So suppose this is the model that I want, right? I'm going to copy this RealViz XL version 4.0. I'm going to go to Civit AI. And then here I'm going to paste uh, RealViz XL 4.0, and then it shows up like this. Now here I can see that it's a good thing that I actually now have the latest version, which is version 5.0. Uh, this is the 4.0 that we were looking at before. So there are all of these different versions for each model uh, that we can use. So suppose I use this one, the 5.0 model. What I would need to do is to simply download this model. So if you hit download, it's going to start downloading this model locally on your computer. And why don't I just go ahead and do that? And there we go. So this file, 6.5 gigs, was downloaded. And I can see what it looks like here on my downloads folder. Now, if I want to add this model, what I can do is just go to the place where I had installed Comfy UI. And in this case, it's in my documents. Um, so within my documents, the place that I need to drag and drop this model file is in the models folder, I would select checkpoints. And then in my checkpoints, all I would do is just simply drag this model, place it right here. Once that's done, I pretty much will now be able to start using this model. So that is how you can then, uh, let me open up the interface. If, you, if the model doesn't show up um, like this, like the checkpoints, it should show up. If it doesn't, you can simply load all the folders or just hit refresh. And then after it refreshes, it should show up. As long as the model is in this location uh, for, for checkpoints, it will be able to show up here. Okay, so, so far, all we did was we looked at a very simple, a very basic workflow. All we would do is this particular cell is or node is mostly for loading the model from a checkpoint. This right here is where we can put in some sort of an input prompt. And in my case, the input prompt is a wolf playing blackjack with three little piggies. Um, over here, I can add in a negative. So for example, suppose that I don't want to see cards, right? Like what would that end up looking like? Um, here I can control more things. So for example, um, what is the length of the images? So for I can have something like 1024 by 1024 image sizes and those kind of things. This are more controls that will allow us to create images. So I can change between different types. So um, for example, if you hover over each one of these, it'll tell you like exactly what you would need. So if I set the seed as fixed, that means that any single time I, I hit run, I'm going to be able to get the same looking image every single time. So this is the second time that I run it. This is the third time that I run it. It doesn't matter. 
I keep getting the same exact image. If I set the seed as random, that way it's going to be able to give me a completely new or random looking image every single time this gets run. Now I am going to be making a follow-up video on Comfy UI, going exactly through all of these different workflows. I might actually do an entire series on that for all these different kinds of purposes and application. But for now, I just wanted to show you exactly what Comfy UI is, what you can use it for, and how you can just generate some really basic beginner-friendly images on Comfy UI interface. So try it out. Click the link in the description below. Download Comfy UI. Um, I want you to give it a prompt and then see if you are able to generate an image. Uh, in future videos, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own nodes from scratch, as well as how you can actually create much more complex workflows that you can create by yourself, or you can just borrow from other people's workflows and then start implementing that as well within Comfy UI. That's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful. You got to understand what, it, what Comfy UI is, how you can download models, and how you can create your own sort of content. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.